Right. Other core for final. This is the match to get into the semi-final. So I, I guess Valger is a big favorite. Queen K5. I feel like you can grab F2 here. Like I, you need to know what you're doing though. He's keeping the... Wow. That's very risky. Wait, what? Isn't this a mistake? Like queen... Queen i7? What do you play after queen i7? There's no check on red because of this queen move. Queen i7, king a7. King a7 only move. <coughs> I don't like this. Wow, unbelievable. Knight of three. What else?
the queen must retreat. That is a failed experiment. I think bishop b8 was the reason. Wow. So now queen l queen l seven. You just take the queen. Okay, so you you take the knight. Queen takes b9. I think this check was a mistake. Now green should play queen l4 or queen h4. is all over yeah queen queen l9 was really bad
I think you have to play Queen H4. If anything, you're just setting up a check. I mean, it's pretty hopeless already. I think the mistake was this check. Here it's possible to play this one Queen J6. And the point is that um, yellow and red are not mating with the knight and queen. And now you're taking away the two. S no, you're not. You can go there. Wait. Wasn't there a way to cover both? Yeah, because this one doesn't work. Because then you check with the knight and yellow takes the queen. Okay. We keep watching. Oh! Wow, incredible. So we're back in Valier's defense. Knight K12. What the heck? This is very funny. I think bishop d3 here. Bishop d3. Or next move, like you should play a waiting move. And then, depending on where the blue queen goes, you play bishop d3. Because then you're covering the checking square. This is quite interesting. I thought bishop d3 was the move there. But also, it was possible to play some random bishop f4. Yeah, now this is. Recapture. Okay, the rook is out of play temporarily. And he didn't trade the bishops. I don't like this at all for red and yellow. I think you got the queen activated for free. But maybe it's a liability. But I think you have to move the queen here. Clearly move the queen, yes. Very good. But he's down to fifteen seconds. This could be a could be the one. It was very interesting play this night gate twelve. Okay, the rook covers for the moment, the knight covers the square. At least your king is able to castle. Hari. Okay, four coming. Yeah, this is why you don't like us answering knight i3 is kind of a sad admission that you made a mistake. Yeah, I would I would probably move the knight because this is kind of a good tension to have. You see, he's playing it every time. Now, what you gained by grabbing the 11th ranked pawn was that your queen is safe on this square. But this pin... Wow. He grabs it. Okay. 
so now nah, this queen will just stay like here or here you just have to be careful not to allow yeah, this this one yeah that was my idea as well maybe uh, some crazy stuff yeah be this move is good because it covers the ah uh, maybe knight knight okay yeah <clears throat> if it's knight it 10 then then knight knight j5 I'm not, I wasn't really a fan of this bishop h12, but I think it's very sensible in the, by provoking this bishop move, you're really getting run over here pretty soon. Like this move covers the knight jump, I, this one is more dangerous, yeah. Now. The problem is any knight jump here, then knight j5. Knight j5 is the problem. Knight j5. j5 is on. Yeah, knight j5 is it. This is a problem, right? When I thought knight j5. Okay, here. But now you check. Yeah, you can't check. But can't you take the. Ah, oh, you can't take the bishop either. That's a nice defense. Okay, yeah, but why you can take the bishop, right? Taking that bishop was possible, right? And the movie played is really horrendous. Like if if he had taken the bishop. And now you must just move the knight. Um, I mean knight, knight anywhere. That knight is overloaded. Yeah, two zero. Does the zero? It's only getting worse. I think the only chance you have now is like to play Queen J4 and then hope that he moves his knight <laughs> so that you have knight 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 K8 and Queen M <laughs> Queen M7 mate like you have to hypnotize the guy <laughs> to make the move you want to do. Uh. This is getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, you should throw something fancy at them now, like this one. I don't like this move. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I like this plan. 
you should check. Yeah, then it takes. It's all. It's all working out. Yeah. Now, yeah, you take back. Take. It's still a piece, but it's not a simple piece. Yes, it is. It's a simple piece. But I think that was the best they had. Like, just go down a piece. <clears throat> I like hitting this bishop. You know what you will get. Or this one. It's also fine. Yeah. That's a blunder, right? Because now, if you move the attack the bishop and the bishop by 13, maybe you can get away with it. But why didn't the long castle? Like, you could have long castle there, then his king would have been safer, I guess. King on my 14. Now you have to move the rook. Okay, but this one? Ah, maybe not. Why there? No, no, no. That's not the way to go. That rook is loose anyway. Yeah, grabbing that one. True. That's a fake threat. Okay, it's a it's a bishop for uh, two knights. And the position. So soon we are at. Uh, it could be that Red should uh, use this bishop to stop castling. But look at that! Like he played up back. How can this be good? Very bad. <laughs> what? That's knight f knight f twelve made in one. <laughs> okay, I think this was very interesting. But I don't like this decision. Like here you had the option. Oh, I know. What's this? What's this? Isn't this winning? Here. 
It's not over. Check, I'm coming. Take. What am I missing? If you take this bishop, now you know that Green will play this move. That's a mate. Okay. I mean, it it's very risky to develop the Queen like that. Okay, they tried to improve something. They played the same silly stuff. And this early move. I mean, you're getting the queen stuff? In that sense, it's a very interesting idea. The problem with it is that this structure is. It looks kind of active, but the pieces are kind of dead. So here you should play the bishop back, bishop and nine. Okay, he's doing everything he can just to activate the rook. I would be so scared of this. I think queen i i6 should be played. Then you're covering your i13 square. Okay, this also works. The reason why I like i6 is that sometimes you attack m6 and also from this square you might have some influence later on but I mean yeah this square this square is kind of in the wrong position This is all over already. Now this one. Uh -uh. Why there? Very risky play. Trying to exchange the queens too now. But if you exchange queens, then I just open my bishop and you lose a piece. And this one is probably a better try. But I think I would have preferred knight a mate. Because then the knight could not be captured and any circumstances oh capture okay I, I I like that move they're just challenging them I mean what the heck was the point of j12 if you're playing like this then at least like I didn't get that move at all you're just trying to stop the queen from entering something you've already covered. Wow. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> well, that's a shocker. I mean, 
this is way too blunderful for me. Can't live with it. I can't deal with it. All over. So sad. So, so sad. Queen L8, take. I like Queen L8 there. Because Bishop G3, Pawn takes F2, Queen takes G3. Rook take, and you maybe can get away with sucking the queen. I mean, queen and eight, now you're just down a piece for nothing. <clears throat> Some basic blunders. If you're going to give up a queen, at least get some activity for it, like queen n8 back like and why did you play queen m8 in the first place yeah I mean the red king is still kind of exposed wow okay I can see this working So it's a lot of pawns, castles, huh, okay, I can see that, but the only way you lose this game is if red gets checkmated on J2, <laughs> and I don't see that happening, so it's pretty much over. Now this is a wedge pawn rather than a defender of the king. I mean, collapsing so fast. <sighs> yeah. Mati true. Mate in three or two. Mate in two. Yes, yes, yes. Rook g4, only way to defend, but the best you can do is give the rook up for free. So now you play the knight pack. And if you check, then comes. The other one. <laughs> Good defense, at least. So now it's not so not so easy anymore. Woo! Yeah, we give up the rook. I mean, it's the only active piece, so why not? I don't think. I mean, it's it's a rook for five pawns, <laughs> or something like that. <clears throat> okay, so now I can play bishop a three, and you can pretty much resign. Or I don't even need to defend. What is there to defend? <laughs> yeah, rook and nine. I agree. But if any nothing else, you yeah, you can grab the pawn, but you could also grab some other material. I I would. There we see. Yeah, grab it all. 
This bishop is a monster. I would think about rook, rook f7 there, <laughs> like just going to sack down, how do you stop that? Like if rook, rook f7, you're threatening checkmate, rook f7, And then you can check. That's like lights out on the spot. Because you have queen k4. <clears throat> okay, I mean... This is not the simplest. I like that. Very good decision. But um, take, take, take. Yeah, good, very good. Because if, if you take this, you just take back. No, take back. You can take it. You have to take that bishop. Like you could, you could take it. Okay, checkmate. So we have a three zero. That was quick. <laughs> okay. Thank you. That was confusing. Oh. Wasn't very exciting. I guess too many blunders. The most interesting one is probably the second game. <clears throat> Thanks for watching.